In this video, I'd like to talk about the scopes in Final Cut Pro. The scopes are there to give you an accurate representation of what's going on in your picture. Your monitor might not be properly calibrated, or your eyes might be tired or deceiving you, but the scopes never lie. There are four main scopes in Final Cut Pro. Luma Waveform, RGB Histogram, Vector Scope, and RGB Parade. The waveform monitor shows you the relative levels of luma and chroma in your image, from shadows at the bottom to highlights at the top. The waveform is tinted to show you where specific colors lie within the gamut. It's currently set to luma to show the brightness information, or I could set it to chroma to show the color information. Generally, I use this display to see my contrast. I can stretch the shadows to the bottom at zero, and then my highlights to the top at 100. Depending on where you're delivering your video, these are the safe limits for broadcast. The RGB overlay histogram combines red, green, and blue values on one display and shows you the number of pixels of each across the IRE gamut. Unlike the waveform we just saw, this doesn't really tell you how bright or dark the image is, just how much of each color value is at each brightness level. The vector scope is probably the most familiar of the scopes. It shows you color saturation around the spectrum. The color targets red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow represent maximum legal values for broadcast. There is a skin tone line that will help you diagnose color casts in skin tones. If you look at standard color bars in the vector scope, you can see an interesting pattern with each color hitting each target. Overall, use this to gauge the saturation of your image and see if any color is out of range. The RGB Parade is a waveform display that shows you the relative levels of red, green, and blue in your image. I use this to balance the image. If there's something that's supposed to be neutral in the image, but the scopes tell you it's not, I'll make an adjustment with the color wheels. This image looks a bit too warm to me, and the RGB Parade confirms that with the levels higher in the reds. I'll rebalance while keeping an eye on the scopes. All of the scopes are very useful, yet I tend to color correct with two up, Vector Scope and RGB Parade. These two scopes tell me pretty much everything I need to know on most clips. Contrast, saturation, and any color cast. So those were the scopes in Final Cut Pro. Keep an eye on this channel for more color grading and Final Cut Pro tutorials in the future. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.